Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Capricorn for March of 2020. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, I want to say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing these videos. Um, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with the message. So you want to stay tuned for that. And I do pull some more cards throughout that session too. Um... If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with a little bell notification. I do have new videos coming out every single week, including the full moon and new moon reading and energy healing. So I'm going to have a lot more energy healing also coming out on this channel. So you want to make sure you subscribe. Excuse me. Cards are falling. All right. And if you haven't already, you can come check me out on Facebook. I'm going live over there every day, as long as I remember to. Um, so you can check me out with some messages over there as well. All right. So let's see what's happening here. Wow. All right. So the overall energy here is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. So to me, this is about shadiness. This is about you know, he's kind of sly, kind of doing things. So make sure in the, Mar the month of March, I, I can't wait to do this full moon reading, um, but it's like the month of March here is, is going to be a turning point for a lot of the signs here. So for this to come up as your overall energy of just a shadiness, a darkness around the month, um, I, but I feel like you're ready to let go of this. I feel like you already know what this is. You're like, oh, damn, really? <laughs> like she had to bring that up, right? That's what I'm feeling. And it's like, but you're you're ready to let go. So let's see what happens in the month here. The first thing here is the six of cups. In the beginning of the month, you got the eight of cups, you got the nine of swords, and you got the king of swords. So absolutely, you are freaking done. You are done. You're done with the shadiness. You're done with the lying. You're done with the cheating. You're done with the things not working out the way that you want. And please remember, these are general readings. So take how it resonates with you. But you're just done with the drama. You're done with the chaos, whatever it is. You've got the Six of Cups followed with the Eight of Cups. I mean, this is about giving yourself your light back. This is about making a choice for you, making a choice that's going to benefit you. It's walking towards something, not away. Right. Many times we don't want to leave because we feel like we're walking away from something, but we got to shift the perspective there. And it's more about you walking towards something, not away from something. So, you know, that there's better for you. You know that there's something that you want that you need to go after. And with the nine of swords and the king of swords, I feel like you just have to put your foot down. You have to put your foot down. You have to make the decision. You can see he's like, I feel as though he's like stabbing his his sword in the in the snow there because it's like no I will not tolerate this anymore no I will not take this anymore and it's in the beginning of the month I feel as though you are very strong you are strong willed you are ready to let go you are ready for better you are ready to walk towards something that is going to be better for you you have in the middle of the month here you've got the nine of wands you've got the ten of swords you've got the strength card and you've got the two of pentacles so again, you are standing in your power here. The 10 of swords, you're done. Like, I can't say it anymore. Like, you are done. You got 10 swords in your back. Like, I am over that. I am strong enough to get through it. I will do whatever I need to do to get through this decision that I have to make. Whatever it is, it's leaving something, uh, setting boundaries with someone, setting boundaries with a, a position at work. It could be whatever it is for you. You are completely over feeling shysted, <laughs> feeling like taken advantage of, feeling like, you know, you don't matter. Like they lie to you, like you're a piece, you're like nothing to them. You're over it. And I feel as though, you know, this could be in a lot of things. It could be even like just the universe. It could just be your life. It could just be like you are just so over the way that things have been. And you're gaining your strength here, especially in the middle of the month. Um, so that's actually good for you guys, because usually in the middle of the month, for a lot of the signs this month are very, it's drastic. Um, but I feel as though this full moon energy, which is coming in on, on March 9th, is, is actually going to empower you. 
this moon is going to be really good for you. Um, and I'm not an astrologer, so I can't tell you why. But the energy that I'm feeling around it is that you're going to use this moon to freaking empower yourself and plow through the fear, the rejection is the word I'm getting to, to just move forward. And then we've got the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So a lot of swords. So there's a lot of inner work that's going to be done here. When you decide, when you finally make the decision, because I feel like you've been teeter-tottering it for so long, like just dealing with the bullshit really is what I'm feeling. And it's like you are ready to move forward. And it's like this month, if you use that moon energy, again, it's good for three days before, three days after. So um, if you can use that energy to really just empower the decision, empower your strength, it's going to be so beneficial for you. That queen of swords, boundaries. You got the queen of swords, uh, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Swords. So this month is about boundaries for you. All right. So definitely check out my Facebook group because I just did a bunch of videos on boundaries um, about how to communicate them, how to have them, non-negotiable versus negotiable, like all these different things that I teach in my courses. It's over there for you. Um, you've got the Queen of Swords, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. It is okay for you to put down boundaries. There's a new beginning there. Page of Swords and Three of Swords. I feel as though you are, you're cutting out the people that are hurting you. You're cutting out the people that have broken your heart. You're cutting out the situations. You know, all I hear, you see the Page of Swords, just like cutting. And then you got the Three of Swords. So whatever is hurting you, whatever is bringing you down, whatever is making you constantly drain your energy, right? It doesn't even, it doesn't have to be abuse. For some of you, it definitely is because they are bringing that to my attention. But for some of you, it's like the little things. It's like the children that just don't listen to you and you spend so much of your energy trying to get them to listen and you just expense it all and you have like nothing else to give to yourself, to your spouse, um, to your work. It could be other things like just little things for some of you where it's just t draining your energy people, drama, situations, just cut it out because there's a brand new beginning. They actually are telling me to pull one or two one or two one okay one more card and there it is yeah wheel of fortune you're you're getting everything turning everything is shifting so we want to stay really positive we want to be looking at the things that are happening and not focusing on the things that are not happening or the cheating and the lying and the taking advantage of and and all of that stuff we want to focus on the future we want to focus on the feeling that you're fighting for here all right, very important. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do some energy healing. Whew, let's see. So I always go in with an intention. Okay, we're going to go in with the intention here of just the strength to lay down your boundaries. Okay, so the strength card, we're going to overpower that Ten of Swords. We're going to bring the Queen of Swords up here. And we are just going to cover that with a little bit of the Ace of Wands. And we are going to make this our intention of just this brand new beginning of someone that you feel empowered enough to set your boundaries and know that you're worthy of setting those boundaries and that your whole life is going to change because of those boundaries. OK, so if you haven't done this with me before, all you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to some music. It's about a couple minutes long. Um, and then I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. So just go ahead and get comfortable and I will pull some more cards. So stay tuned for those messages. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close your eyes if I haven't said that already. And go ahead and let it out. And take another deep breath in. Give your body a nice little stretch. I'm going to call in your spirit guide to be with you at this point and then go ahead and release that. All right, here we go. Whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And give your body a nice little stretch and then go ahead and let that out and you can open your eyes when you're ready. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that energy healing, if you felt something and if you liked it. Um, also here, we've got the King of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Higher Font card. This is telling me that it's going to be scary to be who you are or who you want to be or to move forward from whatever you're moving forward from. But this is, again, the King of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. This is about that vision that you see is true. That vision that you see is reality. That vision that you see is possible. And you have to stop looking at what is wrong, what is what is not working, and look at what the future potential holds here. She's got two gleaming cups, but she's too focused and sad about the ones that have spilt, right? We have to count our blessings. We have to be grateful for what we do have. And in doing that, you are going to then bring in more into your life. You have the two of wands and you have the Hierophant card. This is about stepping into that power, right? You're taking your power back here. You're stepping in, you're doing it. And the two of wands to me is always about the decision. So you always have, have to make the decision. You have the higher font card. So I'm going to read this in two ways. So this is about you stepping into your power as someone who's enlightened, someone that has the wisdom, someone that has the knowledge, okay? Making a commitment to yourself as well as to be this person that you've wanted to be for such a long time, but whatever this is has been holding you back and making you doubt yourself. I also have a Reiki on here, an energy healing um, on my YouTube channel that I just put out about a week ago about eliminating self-doubt. So that would be really good for you here. But this is also about making the decision. Um, I'm hearing of the road less traveled. I don't know what that means, but it may res resonate with you. But um, this is telling me that you have a choice. You can either do it on your own or you can get help as well with the higher font here. So the higher font is like a priest, a therapist, a coach, a healer, somebody that can... Okay, so they're, they're bringing my attention to like an addiction here and it's going to be very easy to go back. And especially if this is like a narcissist person, they're going to try everything that they can to get you back. If you do not feel like you are strong enough to do it on your own, it's time to get help. It's time to get somebody that's going to keep you accountable. It's going to, it's time to get somebody that's going to lift you up and inspire you and encourage you to keep pushing forward. Um, in order to stay away and really walk away, you know, walk towards what you actually want, walk towards your vibration, walk towards your connection um, with the divine, with God, whoever that is. But so you have two choices there. You can either do it yourself, okay, and you've got to be really, really, really focused on the good and the vision in the future in order to do that. Um, or you can get some help from somebody, from a trusted person that has more knowledge, has been through it before um, in order to help you through. Okay, so that's the message that I was getting there. All right, so uh, please hit the subscribe button if you liked the video and you want to see more of these and hit that little bell notification, that notification. So when I do have the, oh, I can't talk now, have the videos coming out, uh, you get notified. And I also have a, a master class. It's free. And it's Heal Your Life with the Power of Energy Healing. Um, it's on March 3rd. So if you ha are seeing this after March 3rd, you can catch the replay on YouTube, okay? Um, but check that out because the power of energy healing is really important to have in your life, all right? I want to say thank you for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. I appreciate every single one of you. I do read every single comment that comes through. So definitely make sure that you leave me some and let me know what's happening with you here. And I want to say thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful March. Stay strong. You got this. You can be exactly who you want to be. So go for it. All right. Much love to all of you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.